wait, there's another one? What's up, Kitchen Kinfolk? We back chasing flavors with another edition of our throwback series, where we go back and take a look at one of my older videos that did real well, and we're going to see if we can put a little extra spice on it. Today, we're taking a look at the spicy hash brown stacker. It's going to be something good for breakfast. But before we get started, be sure and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure and share this video with your friends. All right, let's hit it. Now let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to be using today. Now the first thing we need to do is to grate our potatoes. I've given these a good wash. I've got uh, a box grater here, that's the one I use. My suggestion is, if you got a helper in the kitchen, get somebody else to do this, but if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Obviously, I have a one-man operation here, so I'm gonna get this done by myself. Now, you don't have to be brave slash stupid like me. If your grater comes with a little handle to stick in your vegetables and, and, and grate them, go ahead and use it. Save your knuckles. And once you're done giving those a rinse, you wanna give the potatoes a good squeeze. And get all the moisture out of them. Some of the water coming out. You wanna squeeze all that out because as you know, water and hot oil just don't like each other. We wanna make sure that we don't have any explosive consequences. Plus, if you don't squeeze all the water out, your hash browns can end up with a mushy center, and nobody likes that. Now let's start putting together some of the other ingredients for the hash browns. We're going to use half an onion, so half of a medium onion. Always like to leave the root in on. Keeps it from running away from me while I'm cutting. Now take note. This is one of the few times you'll ever see me cutting vegetables on screen. You know why? Because everybody else cuts vegetables on screen. You've seen it a million times. Why well, make the video longer watching me chop up stuff? Ooh, let's look a little closer. Phew, that's better. Back to regular speed. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add our seasoning mix. This is one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon each of cayenne and white pepper. Give that good sprinkle there. Give it a mix. Make sure you get your seasoning all throughout the potatoes. I'm gonna add one quarter cup plus one tablespoon of regular all-purpose flour. We're also gonna add one egg as a binder. Now, you got to stir. Okay, so I have about three tablespoons of oil here in my skillet, nice and hot, shimmery as they say. Just a little bit of smoke coming off of it, it's nice and hot. It's over a medium high heat. And we are going to start frying. Let's, let's take some of our potatoes here. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. You wanna kinda of shape it into a square there. And 
And we are going to fry until it's golden brown and delicious. What did you say it should be? Golden brown and delicious. A nice crispy outside. Ooh, let's look a little closer. Let's assemble our stacker so we can eat. Let's take one of our hash browns here. And add one of our sausages. You know what? Let's go with the avocado first. I think it'll work better this way. Got some nice avocado there. And a sausage on top. Then, oh, Friday, got a little smoked salsa there on the side. I think we are ready to go. Man, that's wild taking a look back, seeing where you were a few years ago and where you are now. Whew, I had a lot to learn. I still do, but I'm having a great time making these videos. And I appreciate all the love from y'all who are checking them out. Be sure and share them with your friends. Subscribe to me. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. And I'm about to bounce. I think I'm going to make me a stacker.